All right, good. So based on all that information, we hypothesize that if we improve the gut, we reduce inflammation, we improve the symptoms of autism and help our children heal. And there are tons of studies proving this hypothesis. We are gonna jump in to two quick ones that show this. One was done at Arizona, Arizona State University. Now in the past, the ASU research has shown that there's ties between autism symptoms and the composition and diversity of a person's gut microbiome we talked about earlier. So what they decided to do was fecal transplants. So they underwent a 10 week program where they had daily fecal transplants. And the treatment program showed long-term benefits. They had an average of 80% improvement of GI symptoms associated with autism spectrum disorders and a 25% improvement in autism behaviors, improved, including improved social skills and better sleep habits. And I know you're, what you're thinking, fecal transplants, what the hell are you talking about? That's absolutely crazy. I get it, I thought the same thing. But what it does is it proves the point. If you heal the gut, you heal the symptoms of autism. And the next study was on the role of probiotics taking orally. Now, in a study, uh, what they did is they fed mice a bacteria strain called Lactobacillus ruteri, and they fed it to mice with autism-like uh, behaviors, and it showed to improve their sociability while increasing the number of oxytocin-producing neurons. So we talked about oxytocin is that thing that wants us, you know, helps us connect with other people and feel that connection, looking people in the eyes, feeling that love. So just changing one, one bacteria strain in the gut improved sociability. Absolutely incredible. You improve the gut, you improve autism.